Hi and welcome to this new episode. Again, I'm going to do a comparison of two systems. And uh, yeah, a lot of people think I'm crazy comparing systems like this. Uh, or other people think it's really cool and think it's fun to see how they compare. Personally, I think it's fun to, to do this and see how the systems compare in the same situations, even though they are in completely different price ranges and with different uh, specs and sensors. The two systems I'm going to compare today are the Z9 and the 400mm f2.8 and the OM1 with the 150 to 400mm f4.5. These two uh, lenses has also uh, built-in TCs and I'm going to show you with and without uh, the TCs activated. So what I'm going to do is uh, here from my apartment. I'm going to start this episode by shooting some static subjects out here from my balcony. I got a living area out here with the uh, lamp poles, chimneys, trees on different distances. So I'm going to shoot with and without the TC and compare the photos and show you. All the photos are shot in RAW, put through Capture One with the exact same settings, uh, put side by side in JPEG version. So uh, let's get started and see how they look. I shot five photos of each subject and picked out the sharpest one. As you can see here, the Z9 does a better job. I think maybe it's the AF on the OM1 missing the target. But as I said, I picked out the best of five. And again here with the TC activated, the Z9 does a better job again. When I do these comparisons, it's mega crops. It's just to see the details of the photos. I think both systems do a great job. The Z9 again is a little sharper and has better contrast. But that's expected. Both systems can deliver great results. And I'm really happy using them both. This is the most cropped photo in the series. This chimney is about 100 meters away. And as you can see, the OM1 keeps up quite good here. With the TC engaged, the Z9 has a little edge. But both photos are quite impressive considering the distance. That was the photo taken here from my balcony. It was fun to, to see how they compared on these uh, static subjects out here. What I'm going to do now is go out in the real world, hopefully find some birds, moving targets uh, and nature to, uh, to shoot, photograph, film and compare it. Let's go out and, and see how it goes. So I just decided to do a, a quick detour in this uh, episode because my son, as you can see here behind me, is uh, playing a, a football match. It's a practice ma match against a team from a, a higher league. So uh, it's going to be exciting to see how it goes. But I'm going to test out the two systems also in sports in this episode. So I'm just going to shoot some some football ball uh, photos here today and show you the comparisons between the two systems. So let's get started. Here you can see the Z9 and 400mm isolates the player a little better against the background, even though he's pretty close to the background. You see the same again here with the goalkeeper. A little better isolated from the background on the Z9 and 400mm. It also has better contrast and colors. The autofocus on the Z9 are much better and faster than the OM1 for sports. But that is not a big surprise. The Z9 are built for sports and action. Here you really can see the difference on the two systems. Get a very soft background on the f2.8 lens and the full frame sensor from the Nikon system. But the OM1 is still doing a decent job here. So that's it from this uh, football game and comparing sports photos. Let's now uh, head out and find some birds. So now I'm at uh, a lake with a lot of birds. It's uh, pretty early and dull today, cloudy. I really think the, the OM1 is gonna, is gonna have some trouble, especially for action uh, shooting. When it's just uh, static subjects, it's really good because it has a really good stabilization in it, so you can go really low on shutter speed, but uh, for action photo it can be a problem in, a, in lights like this. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm just uh, unpacking both systems. Again, I'm going to shoot uh, both systems wide open at their best settings, and I'm going to uh, do uh, the same uh, settings for both uh, with shutter speed and stuff like that. But of course, uh, this one is uh, f2.8, and this one is f4.5. So the ISO values will, will be uh, different because I shoot in auto ISO. But it's just to, to show you how I shoot normally with both systems, so it's not a direct comparison. It's just what you can expect from the best settings on, on both. So uh, yeah, let's get started and see what happens. 
on purpose I shoot with the high shutter speed to push up the ISO. Just to see how both systems perform when you don't have too much light to work with. The first subject is this Cameron just resting. The photo from the Z9 are cropped much more than the OM1 photo, because of the optical reach on the Olympus lens. 400mm on the OM lens is equivalent to 800mm on a full frame system. Later in this episode I will show you how it looks when I shoot on the same focal length on both systems. The reason I got interested in Micro Four Thirds was actually this lens and the optical reach. A big advantage with the Z9 and 400mm lens is you can crop really hard. That means you don't have to shoot so tight in the frame, so it's much easier to do action photography and birds in flight. I have now set up my tripod with a video head and will do a few comparisons in video. The bird is pretty far away and pretty close to the background, so it's hard to get a soft bokeh here. But the Z9 separates the bird a little better from the background. But as you can see, the Micro Four Thirds system does a really good job too. Again, the Z9 is much more cropped because of the optical reach of the Olympus lens. And I wanted to show you the best both systems can do without engaging the teleconverters. In these simple video tests, the autofocus had no problems tracking the birds in both systems. The video files look better on the Z9. And you got the ability to shoot in 4K 120 with full autofocus. But the footage from the one one is absolutely usable. I have now switched location as I wanted more comparison files. Here I have photographed on the same focal length and cropped equally. And now you see a big difference. Here I'm using the 2x teleconverter on the Nikon Z and the OM system's gear are a little sharper here. But the Z9 file are still cleaner with a softer bokeh, so it's easy to work with in post and sharpen up. Here's another example shot with the same focal length. Again the OM1 cannot keep up when the optics are the same and you crop in hard in post. Again I have put on the 2x TC on the Z9. They are pretty close but I think the OM systems win here. Now I have also engaged the internal TCs on both systems. Again OM1 looks better. The conclusion, in my opinion, is the Z9 files of course look better. They are cleaner with a softer background. But I'm still impressed with the OM1 and the 150-400mm performance. Especially for photo, it's a super system. If you want to shoot fast action in bad light, full frame is the way to go. But both systems are highly recommended. That's all I had in this episode. Please leave a comment and your opinion below. Stay safe. Bye.